Hello everybody, I'm MRC Games one and I'm back. But that's not important. What's important is what we're playing, and that is RimWorld. I've set up a group of colonists, and today we'll be colonizing this planet. I'm going to call this series Let's Colonize, and let's get to it. The three of you wait in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sounds of sirens ripping sirens and ripping metal you barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart sometime later you land on this unknown rim world as pieces of shredded starship fall around you and you start making plans to survive <laughs> Do this. Set all of that to that. Here comes our colonists. Alright, we have Isaac. Let's look at them. Isaac Vonberg, a male human colonist. In his childhood, he was a nerd, and his strong French accent kept him from making friends. In his adulthood, he became a state engineer. He is incapable of social, he has the warm skin trait, and he is a psychopath. Next up, we have Benjamin Sven Svijgaard. As a child, he was a hillbilly prodigy. And in his adulthood, he became a militaristic or a police sergeant he is incapable of social artistic cleaning and he is cool skinned he's also a prostophile and next we have ellie aurora who is a medieval slave in her childhood and because of that she grew up being a loner she is an optimist so she tries to look at the bright side of everything, and she is industrious because of being a slave. Wow, she's actually a pretty good shooter. Um, Isaac, what's your shooting? Three. And Sven has the highest shooting of nine. So I want Sven to equip the M16. Where's the pistol at? not seeing it. It'll show up sometime. Alright, let's go into full speed. Now, I'm not aware why my game is laggy. Let's see if we can change some options. Uh, game options. Let's turn this music down. There we go. I have this set to Fahrenheit so Americans can understand what in the hell is going on. Next, I'll need to look at the graphics quality which is on normal instead of great so there's nothing I can do about it um, I could change my resolution that might help so if you would give me a moment I'll do that right quick okay everything is probably a bit disorientated now but as you can tell our frame rate has increased drastically um, let's tell them to grab this the rest of this junk and there's something behind it oh here's the pistol Ellie I need you to equip that there we go now where have we spawned we have spawned in a perfect area other than the fact that I don't see any geothermal v oh there's one right there all right we're in the perfect area and there's a bunch of meat up here we can go grab. Set that. There we go. Um, some silver. Some metal. Let's grab the silver also. Alright, now what we want to do is set up a stockpile. 
so we'll get a dumping stockpile set up and I'll have the dump dumping stockpile go right there and quite large and we'll turn that to everything all right now let's check our overview okay let's turn on this everybody should be a number one in firefighting who's our best doctor you're five both of you are five um, I'll have Isaac do it you'll he'll be a three on it everybody should be a number one patient oh great we can have we have nobody is eligible to be a warden that's interesting set cooking is a number one priority for them number four number four hunting that'll just be a thing construction I want Isaac on it I want it to be a two for the rest of them I want Isaac on this and a two for the rest of them as for growing you get a one and the rest of it it'll be a four for everybody else mining it should be a priority except for the cook I've learned this so everybody can make some foods I think what I'll do is that so construction can be done I want plant cutting to at least be an option for everyone Cleaning is a number four. Research, we'll throw on Isaac. And, okay. Let's get back to the game. So they'll just start moving everything now because they have nothing better to do. But, what I want our miner to do is go over here and grab all that iron. Okay, and what I'll also do is over here in this corner... I'm going to set some sleeping spots until we get a decent area for everyone. There we go. <clears throat> also, something else I want to get onto is zoning for food, because it's going to happen pretty soon. They're going to be all like, you need to give us food in the face. So I'll make a growing zone here for potato and also, I want a small growing zone off to the side for a thing called Zerigium. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, what that'll do is that'll allow us to make herbal medicine and we won't have to use this precious medicine for just getting people to not be dead. We'll also set all of this to be picked up. So right now, everybody is mining because it's a higher priority than everything else, except her. She's gone to start planting some stuff. So everybody else has a higher priority to do other things. Also, something we'd want to do pretty soon is get some production items set up, like a butcher table, which we can throw right there, and right over the butcher table we'll have a cook stove. Actually, we'll put the cook stove... Oh yeah, the cook stove needs to be relatively close. Um, then, what we want is a power source near that. And these are wind power, so it needs to not hit any trees. So we'll set that up. We'll only need one for now, just to run this over here. That should do it. Okay, we're getting a few frames. It's because something is happening in the background, maybe. I don't know. And they're already getting to that. Yes, I am aware. Okay, let's quickly go and set up some bills. Like the butcher creature bill, which will happen forever. And the cook meal. We'll have to cook a simple meal. Do until you have and we'll do six, which is double the amount of the people we have. Yeah. So now, we'll unset it. 
expecting pirates relatively soon. But until then, also something I need to do is orders, and I'm going to tell them to harvest. And that'll be a quick way to get some berries and stuff. I think what we'll want is people to attack us from this area here because we can set up a gun right here, right over here, and in this little wall here. So anybody coming through will basically be shot in the face. So we'll get an order up to build steel walls. What is this, plus steel or gold? That's gold, okay. So we have some surface gold over here we can grab. That's good to know. We also need some plasteel if we ever plan to get off of the planet and win the game. So what we'll do is we'll take our steel wall and we're going to mask it over to there. Also something we're gonna want to do is build a nice wall across here and that'll block that area off. Indeed. And what we'll want is a wall going from there. And a wall going from there to there. And a wall going from here to there. We'll also put a wall right up here. And this right here is plasteel. That's nice. So we actually can get off of this rock. What we'll, we'll, what we will need is since we'll have the people coming through over here, I'm just going to put a deconstruct order right there. And what I'll want is I'm going to grab some steel wall and I'll build it out like this. So if they want to attack me, they'll have to come through here and... They can't just like sit out on the sidelines without getting shot in the face. <laughs> All right, and uh, looks like everything is going decently well. Got everybody, I think our mining order is finished. So what we want to do now is we want to start building into this mountain and getting some bedrooms and stuff set up. So I usually do a double corridor, and in these double corridors, I'm going to want a freezer, which will go right there. Connected to the freezer, you will usually want to have a kitchen where the, um, where the butcher table and this goes, and a table. So we'll also build this out some more, so we can put a door there, and then... A door there to the freezer uh, we're also gonna need bedrooms so these bedrooms don't have to be anything special like we can do this for our bedrooms and that's a one entrance to all of those and that's all the basic necessities we'll need for now everything else can continue to stay outside Something we'll also want to do is claim this area right here. So we can use it for our own good. So what we're going to want to do is mine out this bit of rock and that bit of rock. What we're going to want to do then is deconstruct this. Now this is a natural structure and it will be fundamental to keeping this space safe. Uh, some, something else we're going to want to do is patch up that wall right there. All right. So Isaac is going to go around and do this from the other side. And they're going to go back to sleep. Now. It's about 55 degrees outside, which is really nice, I think. It's not that too cold. I'd love to sleep in that weather myself. 
that's about what it is outside right now and I could just like do jumping jacks in that all day um, another thing that we're gonna have to do is build our freezer but that's probably not gonna be until the next episode which we will we will get that stuff done for now we're starting to use the potato to cook food because she's our set cook what we're gonna want is a some furniture we're gonna get a wooden table right here we're gonna get a wooden table right there or wooden chairs so everybody can sit down and have a nice meal something else we're gonna want actually no we'll cancel this because I found that if we take the wooden table and I'm trying to find somewhere nice for it I'm gonna move El I'm gonna deconstruct Ellie's bed because it's in a perfect place for this Ellie you're going to go and sleep over here now all right now we're going to take our wooden table we're gonna build it right here like that what we're gonna want to do now is get some zones set up I'm gonna want one for Oop. Let's... hang on where's my delete zone all right we're going to want one there and one there the one here is going to be for well first we're just gonna take everything from here and get it to off then we're gonna take this and we're gonna copy the settings over here so everything is off now we're gonna take this one and under foods we're gonna select raw food and we're gonna take this one and under foods we're gonna select meals so everybody will be quick to that and what we want to do now is we want to take these and set them to preferred which means instead of taking them to the dumping stockpile they will take them over here or they instead of taking them over here they will take them over here now everybody's sleeping again started to work on this wall a bit and apparently they've run out of iron because they haven't moved this iron here yet which is actually steel but I'm gonna call it iron because that's just the way I'm gonna call it now they're continuing to mine that out the, the first bedroom and as soon as they get a bedroom built out we'll build them a wooden bed and they can live in it also I've saved this group of people as a preset with the wonderful EDB's prepare carefully mod also another wonderful mod that I have installed is the EDB's interface mod which gives us this lovely interface right here we can go double click these guys see how they are up on the top there's also a bunch of iron here that we missed out Oop. and we're gonna okay so this is our town we're gonna call this the LC base one all right so we're gonna set that to that we're gonna get this iron and set it to allow we're also gonna grab the steel or the silver and the silver is useful for silver is useful for trading over here is a bunch I mean a bunch of cryo sleep caskets so what we're gonna want to do is take that room and maybe heat it up to the maximum amount of heat it can be and then release them so then they'll be instantly or they'll be killed instead of living and we can take all of their weapons and such okay this first bedroom was finished so what I'm gonna have somebody do is I'm gonna take the orders as structure and we're gonna get some steel auto doors in all right and inside this we're going to have lovely lovely wooden beds 
gonna put a wooden bed and also a standing lamp. Then we're gonna take our power wire from over here, and run it into the base. Like this, I'm gonna run it along along this line, and that will power all of the auto doors on there until we reach here. And when we get here, we'll take it into the freezer. Unless we build a power conduit wall right here, and that can directly power the freezer. <laughs> In here, this is set to everything, so I don't know why they haven't hauled this load of iron, but um, if they need it, they'll grab it, I suppose. They also haven't hauled any of the potatoes, and they're still sleeping. It is April 9th. We also have to prepare for winter. That's I could have I could have chosen a nice fully um I could have chosen a nice and fully f uh, I, I can't get my wording in a nice all season growing periods, but I didn't. And now Isaac is taking all this and he's going to get that done. What we need to do is more power because we're expanding the base and getting lights and such. So the next liable place doesn't need to be in this one's way. Okay, so what we're going to take is our power. And with this one selected, we can see where it's going, its area of influence is. So we're going to build it right there on top of that power conduit. Now, as soon as this bed is built, we can delete one of these for maybe our miner, which appears to be Sven. So Sven's going to be the first one with a nice bed. Ellie is over here continuing to grow. This is most, for the most part going to be the slow part of the game. Also, another order we need to set is cutting all of these trees. I do not want them in my base. They're just taking up space. So in this area that we're immediately working in, I'm gonna want to cut down all of these trees. Now Isaac and Sven going at the mining orders because Isaac has nothing better to do. So we'll give Isaac something to do. He's gonna build a steel door right there and then he's going to build a wooden bed right there. We also have the ability to now fit a colonist into a wooden bed. So this nice wooden bed is going to be set to be owned by Sven. We're also going to need another item of furniture, which is going to be a standing lamp right there. Because of low power, we're not able, this one's not connected to the power grid yet. But the wire is here, so when it, when we do get a nice amount of power back, it will begin to be powered. For the meantime, they can manually walk in and out of the this door. Now, it appears that Isaac has finished the second one. Oh, let's cancel that. So we're going to set this bed for Isaac. Then we're going to go into architect mode and deconstruct Isaac's bed. Just right there. Sven is already working on the other door. Or on the other bedroom. So they apparently really, really, really want bedrooms because they're tired of sleeping in the fog and getting all moist with their heads just exploding because of the humidity levels. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to build. I'm going to set them a structure to build a simple wooden wall right here and then as for defense in our security measures what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a 
steel improvised turret right here. Then we're also going to want to put a nice, I'm thinking steel wall right here. It needs to be durable. And it's going to have across it a set of sandbags like that. So hopefully no colonists get stuck in there, because that'd be funny. Okay. Now this room is close enough to being where we can take our steel auto door, plop it right there. Then we can take our furniture, plop a wooden bed right there. And a standing lamp right there. Alright. What we're also going to need to do is move our power grid up. To that door. Now it appears we've run out of metal. So what we're going to have to do is send somebody to mine out some more regular metal. But it appears there are none around. So what we're going to have to do is dig this bit out. But I will let you see that in the next episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Have a nice day, everybody.